Hey guys, it's Danny the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Now today I'm over here at the Jasmine Cantonese restaurant inside the Bellagio Las Vegas, right? Now today they're offering New Year's brunch for $118.88. What do they have inside for that price? I don't know. Could it be lobster? Filet mignon? Things of truffle? Laskin king crab legs? Prime rib? Who knows these things? My goodness. I'm gonna go in and find out. $118.88 plus tax and tip. Okay, so we're gonna start off over here with their seafood where they do indeed have Alaskan king crab legs. Look at those spikes, delicious looking. And now over here we got the Peking duck. The guy cuts the duck for you. Ouch guys, ouch. Oh, I would hate to be that duck. Ouch. Now over here we got Cha Siu, a Cantonese favorite. And over here we have Gail. Hi Gail. Hi. All right. This is the uh, bun for the Peking duck with all its accompaniments. Terrific looking. Sorry, thank you. We got Ah Jus. Over here we got Prime rib. Is this aged, sir? Yes. Yes, it is. It is aged. It is looking pretty old, guys. Very aged. <laughs> and over here we got lamb. Looks like uh, dinosaur bones. All right. Now let's see what's over here. Here we got some crackers and stuff. We got smoked salmon, which is pretty expensive stuff, guys. I wonder if I can eat $118.88 worth of this. It'll be a lot. Alright. And what is this stuff here? Salad. Salad. Very interesting looking things here. Ooh! They got some sort of seared tuna. Oh my goodness guys, that looks so good. I'm gonna have some of that. We got fruit with these uh, eyeball looking things. It's looking at you guys. All right. Oddly enough, there's only like six of these little jars. I wonder if I take it, how fast they will replenish it. We got the uh, cold cuts over here. We have uh, clean bowls and plates. Over here is the soup of the day. I wonder what it is guys, let's take a look. I still don't know what it is, guys. Over here we have uh, corn soup and then the thousand year kanji. So let's take a look at the corn soup. It's looking very corn soupish, very nice. Over here is the thousand year kanji. Wow. I'm surprised it's still wet. It should be dried up by now. And this is the stuff that goes into the cream, uh, the hot and steamy pot, which is going in there right now. Look at that, guys. All right, hot and steamy, guys. Over here, we got this um, I do not know what this is, guys. It's called the uh, crispy scallop in taro nest. All right. Crispy taro, crispy, crispy guys, very crispy. Look how crispy it is. Right, coming around from the crispiness, we have clean plates. Oh, chow mein. Thank you. It's chow mein, guys. Now we have. Oh, poached chicken. Not bad at all. All right, the black bean lobster. 
it's almost time for a refill for that. This is a uh, pig feet. Pig feet, guys. Now we have uh, vegetables. Ooh, sea bass, guys. Expensive stuff. Now we got some fruits over here. Very nice. And let's go around the dessert station where we have these dessert choices. Very nice looking dessert choices. Mmm, very clean and presentable. Oh, this looks really good. Oh my god, all the uh, raspberries are facing the same way. They go all out here at the Jasmine. Got cherries and stuff like that. All right, and now we got Tongue's favorite chicken feet. Steve loves this also. My God, they're gonna eat the whole pan if they were here. Oh, look at those king crab legs. Yummy. Okay, and now we have spear ribs. All right. Veggie dumplings. Oh, spinach with crab dumpling. Okay, coming soon, the ha gao. All right. Here's a siu mai. Ooh. That's the siu mai, looking pretty good. And we got, is this miniature French onion soup? Oh no, baked milk custard. I was hoping it's French onion soup. How adorable, these look like little pumpkins. My goodness. Oh, those crab. Uh, those are uh, shrimp things over there. Some of my favorites from childhood. I really enjoy that. Back then, they put a little crab claw at the end of that stuff. Really delicious. I know you. Oh, hello. I saw you. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. All right, guys, I'm seated. Now, I am perfectly comfortable leaving everything at the table while I go get the food because no one pays $118.88 just to jack my stuff. All right, let's go get some food. All right, guys, so now I have Alaskan king crab and Peking duck and char siu. Let's take a closer look. All right, so we're gonna try the char siu. Now I know it's not gonna be as good as Noodle Town, but you know, it's hard to beat Noodle Town. It's all right. I knew it wouldn't be as good as Noodle Town. No one's as good as Noodle Town, like from the 80s, you know, when I was a kid. All right, Peking duck first, just the duck.
got a lot of duck flavor. All right, gonna put it into this piece of bread. Ah, oh, I forgot the sauce. Don't need the sauce. Those chopsticks were really heavy. It's better without the bread. Eight point five for the duck. Pretty darn good. Mm. King crab legs, guys. Now I went and I got the biggest pieces. Look at this monster. Really good crab. This piece alone could be 15 bucks. Mm. Mm. I wonder if they have any hot butter. I'll take a look. All right, guys, I found the butter. Now, on my way back, I also got some lobster tail pieces. Oh, ooh, and some uh, ha gao. Take a closer look. So first, the ha gao with all kinds of things in it, guys. All kinds of things. The things inside the ha cow don't really change the flavor. but very well made ha gaos. 8.5, very well made. And now the lobster. It's a black bean lobster today. Uh, dip in some butter. Mm. Nine for the lobster. Very fresh. Now, I wonder what I'm going to do with the thorax. Thorax. It appears that there's a piece of meat in the thorax. Hmm. Alright, so I'm gonna finish this up and we'll move on to the next round. Right after these commercial messages. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Thank oh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.
Can we go and take that plate away for you? Oh yeah, this one. Thank you. All right, we're back. So I got their thousand year kanji and their corn soup, just in small amounts. Take a closer look. And new to this round is the seal mite. All right, first let's try the seal mite. Surprisingly flavorful. Just needs a bit more salt. 8.5 for the seal mate. All right, I'll eat these later. One thousand year old kanji. Very decent. The way kanji should be. The uh with the rice portion good and bland as it should be because it's rice and then the flavor of the preserved thousand year old egg you know mixes well with it because the thousand year old egg there's a thousand years of flavor in there it's probably just a month old in reality it's just a name mm. Nine for the kanji. The corn soup. Decent corn flavor. Reminds me of the uh, the one I used to make as a kid. I buy like the can of corn. Put it some water, beat an egg into it. Yeah. Eight for the corn soup. All right, so I'm gonna eat all this and then we'll jump over to the next round. All right, guys, I'm back. And now I have random stuff. I have here, So I have here the piece of tuna that I was interested in. We have also this uh, puffy thing, the green thing, the triangular thing, the egg tart, the thing with something stuck in it, and the cute little thing that looks like a pumpkin. All right, I don't know what to try first. I guess the, the tuna piece. Oh wow, that piece of tuna is spicy. Seven for the tuna. All right, now moving on to this green thing. A spinach and crab dumpling, they say. All right, guys. Not a lot of crab in it. Tastes more like shrimp. <sighs> now, what would really be good here 
if they would set up a corner and have fresh made ha cheng and ao cheng. Wouldn't that be great? The guy steaming it, rolling it for you. Oh my goodness, that would be so good. But we'll see. All right. The thing with the thing in it. Traditionally, this thing here would be, the down here would be a piece of blue crab claw, like the pinchers. And then they use the meat for something else. And this is just a shrimp, like uh, chopped and formed. Let's see what this is. Hmm. Yep, that's what it is. Seven. The thing that looks like a pumpkin. It's like a Snickers bar, but not chocolate. Let's see if I can show you. That would be so good in a movie theater. 8.6. The puffy stuff. Nice and hot. Don't know what's in it, but it's pretty good. Got a good bite to it. Eight for the puff thing. Now for this uh, triangle. Oh, that's what it looks like on the bottom. So that was a cha siu triangle. Eight, not bad at all. Mm, now for that, it was kind of rich. I'm glad I only had one triangle. Now if I had uh, been eating dim sum by myself, I wouldn't be able to eat three of the same ones. It's very rich and heavy. Mm. Tart. From Portugal, they say. Hmm. It's very nice. Good light flavor. Hmm. Hmm. Eight point five. All right, so I'm gonna try something different. Yes, now I got over here a little bit more lobster, the chicken, the chow mein, and ginger and scallion sea bass. So first the sea bass. Mmm. It's a good sea bass. Mmm. Tastes very fresh. Very fresh. 
8.5 for the sea bass. Now these noodles. It's okay noodles. Seven for the noodles. Nothing wrong with it. Maybe with a little soy sauce it'll improve. All right, with the soy sauce. I think it needed to be uh, cooked with the soy sauce. So the addition of soy sauce did not help. All right, moving on. Chicken. I went for the white meat, guys. I love white meat. Chicken, guys, chicken. Surprisingly Chinese flavor. You know, because uh, let me tell you a story. I remember one time in mainland China, right? I was living in the village. The locals, they said, What are we having for dinner? The other local said, We're having chicken, right? Then along comes this huge chicken, huge chicken, right? Bop, 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 bop. Then it came time to kill and eat the chicken. They went kabok, you know? Then they dunked the whole chicken into this like scalding hot water and all the feathers just all came off the chicken. And then they took the chicken out. It was the smallest little chicken I've ever seen. It went from this big to this big. It's like, what happened to the chicken? It was nothing but show. It was a show chicken, guys. All just feathers. Now, later that meal, I tried the chicken. It had a very lean taste to it. Much like the chicken today. Got that China chicken flavor to it. Very lean. Or it could just be the spices, I don't know. We never know these things. I am so full guys, I'm just gonna try the uh, lamb, the prime rib, and dessert. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, I'm back. So let's take a closer look. All right, so let us try the prime rib. Mm. Delicious, tender, and flavorful. Nine. All right. Lamb. So the lamb is good, but not as good as the prime rib was. So 7.5 for the lamb. All right, I'm getting so full, I gotta get out of here. The 90 minutes is almost up. So we gotta eat these real quick. 90 minute limit, guys. Oh my heavens. 
Oh, they're going to come kick me out. Whatever this is. Mmm. Mmm. Pretty darn good, guys. 9.5. Alright. Now, whatever this is. Mmm. 9.5. Oh my heavens. Now this thing. That was harder than I thought. Mm. Seven for that. And this thing here. Eight. All right. Thank you for watching the New Year Brunch. $118.88 over here at the Jasmine inside the Bellagio Las Vegas. Thank you for watching. New Vegas video every Friday. All right, good. Still got a few minutes left. Oh. Hey, we got some viewers. Hi. Hi. Yeah, we always watch your videos at home. We're from Seattle. Oh, from Seattle. Yeah. It's nice and cold over there, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah, we saw some of your videos about this place, so we're gonna check it out. Oh yeah, hundred and eighteen dollars and eighty-eight cents. It's kind of expensive. Yeah. Yeah, I hope they have it. Oh, 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 hi, hi, look, another viewer, yay. They're the same family, so I guess it's just big, one big viewer. Hello, hi. another viewer. Yes, every night, me and my husband. Yeah, oh, you got a husband already? Oh, never mind, never mind, guys, never mind. It's David from the sushi video. Hey, happy new year. So if you're going to be here, go to um, Genting for their Chinese New Year. I don't know. How much do you want for that? About 88. That's it? No, last year. Oh. Oh, hello. Hey, yeah. I see I'm you Danny. All. I watch you all the time. You do? Yeah. Want to say hi? Am I going to be on here? Yeah. Oh. Hey. hey. We got some more viewers. Food was good. Love it. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Nice all right. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, see you next Merry time. Merry Christmas, okay. New Merry Year. Christmas. I'd be looking for it. Terrific.